Okay, another quickie in terms of injector sizing. Again, still getting questions by people not being able to set their injector sizes correctly. Uh, often because they've been told it's an injector size of X and it's nothing like what they've been told. So fuel rail pressures are, again, not what you think they are. An example of how to zone in. Uh, this is on a little Lopo, my wife's car. It's a test mule. So we're sat here uh, ticking over. You've got a short term fuel trim going on of two and a bit percent and an injector size of 700 cc set. So these are actually 610 cc's running at I think three and a half bar, maybe four. Um, nonetheless, they're kind of okay. The trims are pretty decent, except for, for the purposes of demonstrating anyway. So what I'm going to do is show you what happens when you get your injector scaling wrong. So the, the gauge to look at is one where I'm moving the mouse at, bottom left, short term fuel trim. So we're sat 2000 RPM, not driving or anything. It's just sat fast idle, essentially, just with my foot barely on the throttle. I'm going to change the injector size and see which way the short term fuel trims go. So we kind of spookily bob on at the minute. I'm going to make the injector size 0600. Write that in and watch what happens to that short term fuel trim. I've told it's got smaller injectors, so it's turned them on longer. So we're 17% different now. Go figure. If I put it back to 0700 again, which is what they actually are, write that in. Settle back down again. Some adaptions have kicked in at that. Let's go have a look. Yeah, so adaptions are kicked in, so ignore that for the moment. Back to setup. So 700 cc's. You can see short term fuel trim is just returning back to zero ish. So if I go bigger, tell them they're 0750, say 750 cc injectors, we go plus a chunk because they're not as big as we told it. It was. So if you want to get zoned in to figure out what your injector sizes actually are, uh, this is a rough and ready way of sort of zoning in. So play with your primary stage injector sizing, get some meaningful sort of revs on it, and just play with that number up and down so you can get your short term fuel trim kind of okay. Now that's obviously based on a VE that looks like this. Now these are relatively non-linear injectors as you can see. They're, they're quite high VEs at low on times. So these are non-linear injectors so if I had to ask it to do more at low openings. But up top where it, this thing produces boost and this is a 400 horsepower Lupo KO4 hybrid water mare, all sorts of gizmos on it. The VE up here is kind of plausible. It's above 100, but it's not mental. Cruising, it's 90, 80. You know, it's in a good place. But the VE table looks kind of weird at the bottom end. Well, some injectors just will because that's how non-linear they are. Now you can see the Lupo has a really bad cooling fan. Does that ticking over? 102, not so great. So if you want to play with the injector sizing, I say primary stage, look at your short term fuel trims, move it up and down so you, your trims are sat around zero and help you sort of zone in on what your injector sizing now. And if there's big errors when you're back down on idle, well, your injectors are just non-linear. Look at here, we're 35% different. That's how non-linear the injector was down there. It's just how it is. So, okay, hopefully this is helpful to someone. Good luck. <laughs>